And welcome back to another episode of Let's Fail at Sang Freud. Because that's what's happening. If you remember last episode, the game glitched and prevented me from moving. So the Grand Werewolf came over and just pat me on the shoulder and I just fell over. Uh, I like how you would level up. Cause I didn't look at this, because as you can see, all the traps are in the same spot, meaning I just started another episode. I like how you leveled up, but you don't actually keep the levels for the mere fact that it wants it to be just that. You keep the levels if you're Jack, but he's your main character. Losing, constantly losing and leveling up your side character is apparently not allowed. Which is sad, because I would have liked some more powerful rage abilities. Also, I didn't point that out before, but the axe looks so tiny on Jaws. Like, didn't it just look so cute? With Mr. Big Man? Stand next to this again. And hopefully we won't get our ankles bitten off by the wolves this time. Hopefully we'll actually be able to do something in the way of fighting back. And hopefully that spike trap will actually set off all of them. Because I know there was a little bit of AI of them actually moving in kind of random locations. Like they don't always take the same consistent path. Like, you, you remember the first time I had that trap there. I didn't move it at- I haven't moved it at all since the first time I placed that. There, there it's happening again! Get off of me! Come on! What it- Well, apparently those ones that escaped, that were going over there, didn't notice me until my scent. But- What kind of mechanic in the game is that? Oh crap, this is Grand Werewolf. What kind of mechanic prevents you from attacking? It's like, hey, you, we're not going to allow you to do anything. Hey. Get off of me. Sheesh. Okay, this is the right one. Because, like, they were taking turns just fighting me. Which prevented me from swinging at them. Which effectively made me... Death. I think I like Jax better. Joss is more like bowing and Jax is doing like a little... Kind of river dance. I'm not even sure what to properly call it. You know, I am half curious what it would be like if you just had forced all of them to come through one focal point and literally just had nothing but sacred trees. Come at me! I dare ya! Okay, this is the hard part that we, that the game didn't want us to succeed on. <sighs> Alright, those two will get the scent. No, they won't. They'll go in the opposite direction, dummy. Tap. Can I still move? I can still move. I think it's because the map glitched. You know, we just gotta wait for those guys to go over to the bait. Let's actually use this, because they'll still be moving. Should be. Hopefully. Yes? Please say yes. Please say I didn't just screw myself. Game. Uh, yes, okay. I was about to say, um, can I exit this to check? Okay, wait for that ground werewolf to get in there, and... Poo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Kill a grand werewolf using only traps. 
could have sworn I did that before, but what have you. Now we get a run. I failed to care about that. I'm gonna run the long land, and I'm just gonna go over the fire, and I'm gonna be like, screw you! They're doing a little dance. They're dancing around each other. Let's see if I can update the scent. Let's see if that'll help. Yeah, that'll help. Now, combat... Uh, what the hell is the combat robot? Because I remember there was a combat roll. Come and get me, you magi mob. To prevent getting hurt, but through fire and flames, and I'm just going to stand here, and they're gonna be like, "Hey, where is it?" Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. Actually, it's for the best because they'll come over here. Shit, that's perfect. So I'll scream right here. They'll get attracted to here. The bait will be there. So they'll come right to the bait and then I can shoot the fuse. Perfect plan. Just gotta make sure to run far enough away. And wait for them to get all the way over here. Now. The worst part, the absolute worst part, since I got my ankles bitten off, yeah! Let's go, is going to be those godforsaken willow wisps. Okay, holy crap, it's dark. They're both at the bait. And pop up! Did I kill him? I killed him! Yeah! I think I'm going to set these and then go up the tower. Because I have like five health left or something. Something silly like that. Oh, they're coming from that direction apparently. Which is right in the direction of the tower. Let's just do this. Hi. How's it going? Let's pray this works. <laughs> I dare you to come in here, buddy. Okay. I'm up the tower. They should be burning. The tower should live long enough for them to burn to death. Yes! Burn! Burn! Why aren't you burned to dead? There you go. I was standing a little too long. But the tower is alive. They're all dead. And I'm alive. Oh, hey, waypoint. Uh, apparently, right next to the tower. Yes? Game? Uh, it's like, okay, you want to see. It's okay then. It's like, is everything fine over here? I shouldn't be dead. I shouldn't be dead. With the Inu Ash tribe, there was a, always a rivalry between the shaman, Mr. Thomas Testostu, aka Old Fox and the priestess Manny Wapikwan, mother of Joss, Jack, and Josephine. With her gift of premonition, she always gave very sound advice to the tribe, which bestowed her with a lot of respect among her peers. Upon her death, Old Fox gradually regained his role as a spiritual advisor, but always worried that Josephine had inherited her mother's gifts and returned the tribe one day to take his place. So basically, he's... a about as self-centered as the priest, whose name currently says, I don't know. So, 
Paradise and Hell. Whew. I feel like if I was hibernating like a bear. Like a bear, perhaps not, but like a drunkard, yes indeed. And if your friend the innkeeper hadn't been nice enough to bring you here, I wouldn't have rated your chances very high. Jack, I have to talk to you. There are things going on in the village that aren't exactly only up and up. Napoleon wants to get rid of you and your brother, you hear me? And he plotted with Elzar the priest to convince me to poison you last night. For me, that was going too far, so I cut the dose. Somebody's got to do something here. If it's not you, I don't know who else. I don't know what I can do for you, old man, except thank you. But I have to get back to my sister and my brother as quick as I can. Just a minute. Theo asked me to give you this axe to help you. Oh, damn. He says with this, a nun could cut a wolf in half with two fingers up, up her nose. That's quite an axe. Well, hell. Back at the farm, Joss is still missing. Josephine, but you're all red. I'm really afraid the fever's getting worse. Look all red. If I take you to the village, they're gonna kill you for sure. On the other hand, you're way too weak to survive the trip to Quebec City. I gotta find Joe to watch her while I go get help. And then level. Okay, so let's just look at that axe real quick, because. I'd like to look at said axe. Uh, Saint Kripal's magic axe. The story of this unique axe dates back to An Antoine Saint Kripal, who made a deal with the devil in order to enchant his two-man saw to work all on its own. Some old rusty pieces of it were found and handed to Theo Talifer, who reforged them into a gorgeous axe with very potent magical powers, allowing it to hurt all types of creatures, regardless of their resistance. <laughs> yes, please. And it does a little bit less damage than the king, but it has a little bit more agility. And furthermore, it damages everything. I don't care if it does a little bit less damage, if it damages everything, I am a happy camper. It's no waste time with that, because it'll be reset. Now let's just look at the level. Four wolves go in the house, that's easy. A lot of micans going to the house, that's sacred trees. Suddenly I lose my cursor for, cursor for a second. Wave three... More Mikans, who I'm probably going to have to block off so they can go the long way, because there's also a Huindigo, and I have to deal with this Mikan. And then, a bunch of stuff going to the house that is mostly more Mikan, so more Sacred Trees, and a Windigo, which is a wonderful Ballista. And then two more, which I'm since they get trapped by bait, I feel like I'm just going to have a mortar ready to nuke them with the 70 points of damage. We're gonna have to run up there and do the blitz done. That should be handleable. Because I'll be at the house, so I can just, just zippity doo dah over there and ballista them. Yeah, that works. And we have our money back. Now, we're going to quickly check the towns, because why not? The convent, church, is just still everything the same. A uh, general store still has the Enfield as its biggest item. The hotel, Odlon, who has about the voice I... I figured. Gives a nice smile. And really we have plenty of potions. We actually have enough potions to keep get by. And then the good old hardware store. 
it's still the same home. But I have this, and it's one cent. <laughs> That'll give you this humongous axe of awesome that you just made for me for a penny. And... TP. And same old, same old. Uh... Not sure if I want more hit points or if I still want to keep my, uh... Armor. I'm not sure what would be better. But when we come back, we will actually have Jack, and we will have our Axe of Awesome. Our Axum. It sounds stupid. <laughs> we'll have the Axe, and we'll be able to just carve through all of these Mikans with relative ease, which honestly kind of makes me glad I didn't buy a silver weapon. Because that would have really been a waste. And there's that I am again. I didn't check it in between this one and the last one. Until then, folks, see ya!